Uh, my name is Luke Jenks. Uh, I'm the director of tech support for Meyer Sound in Europe. Uh, I've been working for the company since 1989, and I'm very privileged to be the uh, product manager for the speaker system that you see behind me. This is our new MENA loudspeaker system. MENA is the smallest member of the Milo family. Um, this is uh, obviously the speaker has quite a big job ahead of it. Um, it's uh, following in the footsteps of some very successful loudspeakers. We've had a lot of success with the predecessors to this product being Milo, Mica, and Melody. And uh, what we needed to do was be able to provide that same signature, that same flexibility, the same ease of rigging and all of those things that are found in those products in a smaller package for people that need to uh, still get up a, a good curvilinear system, something that can achieve the high level of quality that Meyer Sound is known for in this family, but with lighter weight and with less space. So really it was, uh, a lot of it is customer demand. This uh, loudspeaker you see behind me here, Mina weighs in at just over 20 kilos. The grid itself weighs in at approximately 18 kilos, meaning that you can comfortably hang up to 12 of these along with the grid on a 300 kilo point. Uh, each element is capable of 128 dB at one meter, so this is a very powerful system for its size. Uh, it's a very competitive market for speakers of this size, so it's important that it really be cutting edge in its performance. And um, we've learned a lot over the years in making systems like this. In this system, you'll find that there's a maximum 11 degree splay. This is a very comfortable amount of splay to have in a system like this. You can still obviously do tighter splays for longer throws, wider splays as the system comes forward, as the coverage demands come closer, without having either uh, problems with interactions between the horns or holes between the elements once they're splayed too far. So it's a very comfortable amount of splay. It should give a lot of versatility there. Um, we're looking at a lot of new technology here as well as proven technology, which is always a great combination. Uh, the driver, the high driver that we're using here is a proven high driver that's been around in some of our other products that is being deployed in this product as well. Uh, you'll also see this horn here, which is, Meyer Sound is well known for its uh, horn technology. Uh, it has a lot to do with the facilities that we have and our ability to be able to model, predict, and create uh, devices like this. Horns are uh, one of the most difficult things to do in loudspeakers. And in this case, we're seeing, we're able to uh, go down to in between four or five hundred hertz with this horn here, which means that the more frequencies coming out of the horn, the more control we have in the uh, in the pattern. So um, you're looking at something that we're very excited about, and really, it's it's got the same signature. It's got the things that have proven to be very successful in the Milo family, but we've also had to take some steps technologically to make it fit into this package. This speaker is extremely narrow, as you can see here, and you can see that there's an interesting driver configuration. Um, this allows both of these low drivers to work together throughout their operating range. Uh, if you're already a Melody user or a Mica user, this system is going to integrate seamlessly with those systems. So you're going to be able to either downfill from them, you're going to be able to hang them in the same array, uh, you can use them as infills, outfills, so it's a complement to a lot of the systems that are already out there for Myers. Um, for the installation market, because of this narrow width, there's a lot of things, especially in theaters, smaller theaters, where there's not that much proscenium space, you'll be able to fit this loudspeaker in. Um, and to get that much power out of something this size, and that much coverage, with that 11 degree splay that we had talked about, um, it's really going to give people a tool that they've needed for quite a while for us. So, um, might have taken a bit longer than some people would have wished for us to come out with it, but it really took a lot of development time. Developing a new horn, uh, developing a new low driver for these things does take time. We have to be very careful about it, and uh, we're really proud of, of what we've accomplished here, and we think that our users are going to really enjoy it. For uh, designers, people that are doing West End type stuff, or, or pretty much in anything, Meyer Sound's approach to these arrays is that we make each element equal magnitude in its frequency response, meaning that they can also be used singularly. This loudspeaker could also be used as an under balcony or a front fill. So for a rental company or for a fixed installation designer, they can stick with something that they trust and that they like, and they know this family of loudspeakers, yet they're able to deploy it in a number of different ways.